YouTube channel. This video is about the decision control structures, if else. So, upon completion of this video, you could be able to identify the form and structure of if else statement and apply the use of if else statement using conditional operators. So, ano nga bang if else statement? So, ang pagkakaiba ng if else statement kay if statement is that pag nagkaroon ng false statement, ang boolean expression natin meron siyang ipe-perform na block of code unlike kay if statement pag nag-false siya nage-exit na lang yung given condition niyo so wala siyang block of code wala siyang choice so dito sa my if statement meron na tayong true na block of code and false na block of code Kagaya din siya ni if statement. To execute a certain statement, kailangan mo na siyang dumaan sa conditional or sa boolean expression. But, ang pagkakaiba lang nito, pag nag-false yung statement ninyo, meron siyang block of code. Or pag nag-false yung condition ninyo, meron siyang block of code. So, if the value of the boolean expression is evaluated to true, then it will perform that true block of statement. If the value of boolean expression is false, then the false block of statement will be executed. So, for example, from the given plot chart, so pag, the, pag itong given condition dito is nag true, gagawin niya yung true statement. Pag nag false, gagawin niya yung false statement. So, this is the syntax of if else statement. So, if condition, then yung block of code ni if, or yung body ni if. Then else, ito naman yung body naman ni else. So, dito, pag nag-true yung condition mo, ito ang gagawin niya, yung body niya. If nag-false yung condition mo, dito ang gagawin niya sa may part ni else. So, this is the syntax. If boolean expression statement, this block of statement will be executed if the given condition is true. But, if the condition here is false, ito yung gagawin niya. Then, next naman, ito yung sample, int temp is equal to 36. So, if temp is greater than or equal to 38, then the value of temp here is 36. 36 is greater than or equal to 38. So, false. So, ibig sabihin ang i-display dito ay, you don't have a fever. So, for example, ang ilagay natin dito ang value ng temp natin is 38. So, temp is equal to 38. Si 38 ba is greater than or equal to 38? So, therefore, sasabihin niyang, you have a fever. So, yan yung pagkakaiba. Unlike nung if, na if nag-false itong given condition dito, wala lang siyang gagawin. Dito, pag nag-false na yung given condition nyo, meron siyang block of code. So, ang gamit ng false condition is yung part ng else. So, dyan. So, if the condition is true, itong gagawin. If na, the condition is false, else, itong gagawin. Sabi niya dyan. So, this is another example of code which is performing a true or false. So, int na is equal to 10. 10 is greater than 5. So, therefore, gagawin niya itong statement na to. After niyang magawa itong statement na to, o yung block of code ng true statement, automatic na i-skip na niya yung else na function ninyo. Kasi ang else na function ay para lang yan sa false na condition. So, hindi na siya bababa dito sa may part ng else. mag -e exit na siya. So, this is a sample of condition if the given is false. So, int num is equal to 10. If num, so 10 is not lesser than 5. So, therefore, hindi niya gagawin itong statement na to. I-skip niya o, bab, o lalagpasan niya yung block of code ni if ninyo kasi nag-false nga siya. Kasi nga, ba itong part na ito ay para lang yan sa true na condition. So, mag -e exit yan, pupunta siya sa false, sa condition, ito yung gagawin niya. After niya ma-perform yung block of code ng else natin, mag -e exit na yan. So, is, this, is, this part is the statement outside the if-else block. So, thinking back naman tayo. Using an if-else statement, we create a program that will display the pass if the grade is greater than or equal to. 275 else failed 
Sabi dito, pag ang grade mo daw is mas mataas sa 75 or equal sa 75, magdi-display siya ng pass. Else, i-display niya ay failed. So, ito yung magiging condition natin. Grade is greater than or equal to 75. Pag ang grade mo is greater than or equal to 75, magdi-display siya ng pass. Pero, pag hindi greater than or equal to 75, magdi-display siya ng field. So, nagawa natin. So, sabi niya dito, will display the pass if grade is greater than greater than or equal to 75. Greater than or equal to 75. So, this is a greater than or equal to 75. Pag ang grade is greater than or equal to 75, pass. Else, pag false, failed. This is the code. Float grade is equal to 90, for example. If grade is greater than or equal to 75, the value of your grade is 90. So, is 90 greater than or se greater than or equal to 75? So, 90 is greater than 75. So, therefore, i-display niya ang pass. For example, the value of grade here is 60. Is 60 greater than or equal to 75? 60 is not greater than 75. So, therefore, i-skip niya tong block ng true statement. So, mag-move siya dito sa else. Else, ang di-display ay failed.